Well, when, when we first established the uh, company, we had two main projects in hand. Uh, one of them was the Sir George White car, which is a 410. That car is basically ex exactly as it was when it came out of the showroom. And on the other spectrum, we have the 401, which is completely opposite to that. We're just trying to portray to people that we can do either end of the spectrum and turn out really good cars. The 401 concept was uh, brought about when we produced uh, a speedster in Bristol cars. The, the only thing which we've modified body-wise is the chassis. Now the chassis has basically been modified to take the except the 411 front cross member and suspension and the rear back axle from the 411 and its suspension, which has worked really well. The, uh, the engine is a Chrysler uh, 400 lump, which is a 6.5 litre engine with a carburetor, uh, just because it was the most convenient engine at the time to try in the project, which uh, is quite exhilarating. <laughs> Well, we're, we're evaluating how the handling is and how it performs and basically trying to gauge people's impression of it. When we did the Speedster, as soon as it was put out to the public, everybody loved it. And I'm hoping this is going to be the case with the 401. At the end of the day, I'm trying to build bespoke cars, cars which people will want to own and want to use. Uh, by putting the modern suspension and modern engines in, it will make it a more usable car, a car which can be used every day. In, in all honesty, it's a coach-built vehicle, and with the skills we've got here, nothing is a problem to us. <laughs>